Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a wild type chromosome can be represented as and here is a sequence and from this a chromosomal aberration arise that can be represented as and here is a sequence. This is known as and you have to choose one of this answer and asterisk here means centromere. There is a science which called cytology which describes and study such aberrations on the chromosomal level. Let's take a closer look and here is a sequence A, B, C and then centromere D, E, F, G, H. Now let's take a look here A, B, C and centromere D, E, G, F, H and you see the order of the chromosomal parts have changed. We do not say here that this is DNA, of course this is DNA, but in cytology we study the whole chromosome and the whole chromosome which we can see in the light microscope. Do we see a deletion here? Answer A, no. We have all the parts of the chromosomes present here, no deletion. Do we see duplication? Again, no duplication we see here. But now three these answers which is going to be a translocation. Looks like it can be the correct answer, but actually not. Translocation would be when we have a chromosome. So imagine this is chromosome and this is centromere and here's another chromosome. Here's a centromere and we see here two non-homologous chromosomes. And if these two non-homologous chromosomes would change its arms, for example, this chromosome would have a break here and this chromosome also would have a break here and these chromosomes would exchange arms. Then in this case we would see what we can call reciprocal translocation. So now let's say this is going to be chromosome number one and this is going to be chromosome number two. So now we will see that one chromosome would look as follows and another chromosome is going to look as follows also. So would have short arm, a piece of the long arm and a piece of the chromosome number one. Again this is going to be chromosome number one and this is going to be chromosome number two. This is what we call translocation. In this case this is reciprocal translocation organism that has such translocation should be phenotypically normal if during such translocation no major genes ha has been damaged but usually it doesn't happen because as you remember 98% of our DNA is non-coding DNA and only 2% are coding DNA. So normally such translocation between non-homologous chromosomes doesn't break genes and we call this balanced translocation. Now of course you probably guessed already that the correct answer have to be whether answer D or E because here we see inversion. But what kind of inversion? Take a look. We start with chromosomes that has a sequence A, B, C and here is centromere D, E, F, G, H. Here is a variant which described in our problem today. We have inversion. But actually there can be two types of inversion. And one type would be as in our example A, B, C, centromere here, D, E, G, F and H. And here is the inverted piece of the chromosome. So where is the breakage happened? It happened between fragment F and G. So double breakage have to happen. And this piece has been inverted and inserted back. But there also can be different type of inversion. Imagine that breakage happened in this place and in this place. And this is going to result in the following sequence. So we will have A, B, then 
D, then here's the centromer, C, E, F, G, and H. And this is going to be our inverted sequence. And as you see, the major difference between these two inversions is that this inversion doesn't include centromer and this inversion include centromer. So we call this type of inversion paracentric inversion and this type of inversion which includes centromer pericentric inversion. So now as you see we can choose the answer. This is paracentric inversion which doesn't involve centromer region. So paracentric inversion which we see here and pericentric inversion which we see here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.